YouTube advertising for beginners. This three part crash course series is gonna show you everything that you need to know in order to get started using YouTube advertising to grow your brand, grow your business, and grow your bottom line. My name is Nicholas Ayers. I'm the owner and founder here at Major Look Video Marketing and we're showing brands and businesses all across the world how to grow their business with more leads and more sales using YouTube advertising. First things first, if you're new to the channel, do me a huge favor, click the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, stay up to date on all the content that we're delivering that's gonna help you grow your business with video marketing and YouTube advertising. Now we're gonna spend a lot of time on my computer in this training series. I'm gonna show you what to click on, where to go, what to do, and you're gonna kind of see how to build this start to finish. But before we get into that, I quickly wanna go over just a few things so that you understand terminology and you understand the bigger picture on why this is actually effective. Because if you're watching this video, it's likely that you're just now starting out on your journey with YouTube ads. Maybe you're trying to figure out if it's the right thing for your business, if it's gonna help you grow and scale and you're gonna get more leads and sales. I can tell you unequivocally that YouTube advertising has been the greatest thing that we've ever done in our business. It's been the greatest thing that's happened in a lot of our clients' businesses, and they've grown exponentially year over year, month over month, because of the YouTube ads that we train and that we help people develop. What we're gonna break down in this training series specifically is in-stream video ads. In-stream ads are the type of video ads that run before a video plays on YouTube. And most people, when they think about YouTube advertising, they get two things wrong right off the bat, and I wanna help you quickly overcome these objectives before we get into the the training so that you're really starting out on the best foot and you're getting the most amount of traction with your ads. Number one, most people think that they need all of this fancy equipment and you don't. You don't need the lights, you don't need the microphone, you don't need the fancy camera equipment. I like to have these things because it's fun for me, but I would never use any of these in an ad. None of my ads contain drone shots, they don't contain slow motion, b-roll, they don't contain any of those things and that's a trap that a lot of people get into when they're first making video ads is they think they have to have all this stuff. They have to have you know, this well-polished presentation and you simply don't. In fact, having a really polished looking ad can be to your detriment. It can actually be way more harmful than helpful in getting leads and getting conversions because you have to think about the consumer, what they're used to seeing. I tell people all the time that we work with that if it looks like an ad, it will get treated like an ad. And that means it's gonna get skipped. And that's not what you want. You don't want your video ad being skipped. You want it to be played through so that people are really kind of learning more about your offer or your product or your service, and they're converting more on the sales side. The best thing that you can have for your video ad is a cell phone. A cell phone is gonna give you everything that you need in order to make your ad. Simply talk to it in selfie mode, horizontal, and make your video that way. You don't need any of this. And if you think about it like this, most people are used to seeing ads from Southwest, Coca-Cola, Sprint, T-Mobile, all these companies that are essentially replicating their TV advertisements and they're putting them on YouTube. And if it looks like that, it's gonna create a buyer shield in the viewer and they're gonna skip the ad. In fact, what you really wanna do is use your cell phone to create a more natural look and speak directly to your prospect so that they take action. And if you kind of give it that kind of gritty, authentic looking feel, that's fine. Again, you don't need any of this. This is because I like to spend money on expensive equipment, but I would really encourage you not to have any of that on your video ads. The second biggest misconception that people have is they think, Nick, do people even watch YouTube ads? Because I know when I get served an ad on YouTube, I'm quickly skipping it and I'm going on to my video. The short answer is yes people watch YouTube ads. According to our data metrics and what we show, and I'm gonna show you how to look at all this for yourself, we see that one out of four to one out of three people who see our ads are watching it for at least 30 seconds or they're clicking over to go to our webpage. And this is huge because the way that Google's gonna bill you for your ad is only if people are watching 30 seconds or more of your video. So if they watch 30 seconds or they click on it, then that's when you get charged. So the moment someone skips your ad within the first five to six seconds, you don't pay for it. And that is powerful. That gives you free impressions. You're only paying for people who are actually watching your video ad. So when you think about, should I use YouTube ads in my business? Should I use them to grow my mortgage business, my insurance business? Uh, if I'm in pest control, if I clean pools, or if I'm a marketer, or if I just have a brand? Yes, you should use it because you're only paying for, unlike other platforms, when 
people watch your video for 30 seconds or more. The next thing we're gonna do on this video, the first part of our training, is we're gonna create our accounts. Creating our Google account, our YouTube channel, and our Google Ads account, and linking them all together is the first step in creating your very first YouTube ad campaign. Now that we're here at my computer screen, the very first thing that we're gonna do is create our Google account. You have to have a Google account in order to run ads on YouTube. And if you're watching this, there's a really good chance that you already have a Google account. And you'll know that you do if your email ends with gmail.com. If you have a Gmail email address, then you already have one. And you can just sign in right then and there. But if you're watching this and you don't have a Google account, you're gonna need to create one. And you're gonna do that by going to the URL accounts google.com accounts.google.com and you're going to create one by clicking on this button that says create account and you're going to click on for myself that's perfectly fine and you're going to enter in your information here on the next screen so i'm going to do that now and we're going to create a username hopefully that nobody has taken so i'm going to make a fictitious one here that is so obscure that no one's going to have it but you're going to create your own and it's going to tell you if it's available or not And it's going to ask me to enter in my phone number to keep it, uh, you know, just enter more of that information. So I'm going to do that here. And it's going to send me a verification on my phone. So let's see if we got it here. And there we go. I got it here. So I'm going to enter in this verification code here. Yes, I'm in. That's exactly what we want. I agree to the terms of service. I'm going to tell you that you should read those so that you understand, but we're going to pretend that you did. Now that we have a Google account, the next thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna set up our YouTube channel. Obviously, we're running YouTube advertising. You have to have a channel in order to put videos on. So we're gonna create that YouTube channel right now. The way that we're gonna do that here is from our home screen that we just created. We're gonna click on the little icon here that has all the different apps, and we're gonna find YouTube. I'm gonna click on YouTube. Once I click on the YouTube icon, it should bring me into a YouTube channel that's been assigned to my new Google ad account, but if for whatever reason it's not, if it says sign in up top, just click on that button and sign in with the username and password that you just created, and make sure you get to the spot where it shows your avatar, and this is a fresh YouTube channel. This is gonna be the channel that we upload new videos to that we're gonna run as ads on our channel or on our account. Now what I want you to do next is when you're in your YouTube channel, I want you to click over here on the top right corner over your avatar and I want you to hit create a channel. This is gonna create the channel and actually set it all up. So uh, you're gonna go ahead and select get started here. Uh, you're going to select, you can select a, a name or you know a custom name and we're just gonna click on right here. Just select on this one we're gonna upload a picture if we want to. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. You can tell viewers about your channel, all, all of these things here. This is kind of just, we'll set this stuff up later. We don't need that right now. And there we go, we have our YouTube channel. Uh, I want you to leave this screen open because we're gonna to get to it next when we set up our Google Ad account. Now that we have our Google account set up and we have our YouTube channel set up, the third and final step in order to get started is creating a Google Ads account. You have to have a Google Ads account to create, to craft, and to manage all of your YouTube ads. They are all housed within a Google Ads account. YouTube ads are essentially just Google ads. They're just video form on YouTube. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna to go to ads, Dot Google dot com and that's gonna bring us to this home page right here and if it already signs you in that's great for me it's not so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit sign in and I'm going to sign in with the credentials that I've just created so I'm gonna switch Google Ads account right here because I'm already logged into one and I'm gonna use another account or I'm just gonna select it from this list right here and it's a new Google Ads account once I'm here, it's going to bring me to some screens. Here's my strong recommendation for you. It's going to ask you, you know, what your advertising goals are. Don't pay any attention to this, but simply click on this button right here. It says switch to expert mode. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Nick, I'm not an expert. I don't know what I'm doing. It's perfectly fine. Our training videos are going to show you what you need to do. So just go ahead and trust me here and click on switch to expert mode. And it's gonna bring you to another page right here where it's gonna ask you to create an account. It right off the bat wants you to create uh, an ad. We're not gonna do that right now because we still have some other things we need to you know, build within our account here. So I just want you to create an account without a campaign. Click on the button right there, search for it here. Make sure this is all correct. Uh, confirm this information here. I'm gonna hit submit and 
congrats, you're all done. Let's create or explore our new ad account. It's gonna show us this interface here. It really wants us to launch an ad right up front. I, I know it's, it's, it seems really aggressive. It wants you to launch an ad, but we're not gonna do that just yet because we need to set some stuff up first. The first thing that you need to do is click on this little icon here that says tools and settings. And I want you to link your your new YouTube channel. So click on linked accounts. It's gonna bring you here and you can connect your Google Analytics, you can connect Salesforce, whatever you might have. I simply want you to connect your new YouTube channel. You have to link the accounts so that you can run ads from that channel. So we're gonna click on details right here. We're gonna link a new account or a new channel by clicking on add channel. And we're simply gonna put the new YouTube channel here. So you can actually put your name here if you created a custom name, but for most people, you probably didn't. Uh, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to your YouTube channel and you're just gonna click on your avatar and you're gonna go to your channel. This is gonna bring you to the URL for your channel. I'm just gonna copy and paste the URL for my channel into this box right here. And I'm gonna say, yes, I own this channel. This is my channel. It's gonna ask you to verify by going to YouTube, which we're gonna do right here. The next screen it's gonna ask me, it's gonna say, do I wanna count these things? And it's automatically checked. The answer is yes. I'm gonna give my, uh, my channel a name here. Now the account is linked. I'm gonna switch back to my Google ad account. It's gonna show me that it's awaiting approval. I'm just gonna hit the refresh button and it should show me that this is now linked and I have my new YouTube channel linked to my Google ad account. And there we go, this works, this is great. The next thing I want you to do is you need to connect your billing account over to your new channel. So you're gonna run ads, they're gonna cost you some money. Google wants you to set this up. So we're gonna go over here to tools and settings. We're gonna to go to billing settings over to the far right. And you're gonna set up a new billing account. You're gonna enter in your debit card information. You're gonna enter in your credit, you know, your bank information if you wanna do direct EFT. If you use a credit card for points, this would be a great spot to put them in here. Here's the strong recommendation and make sure you follow these steps. If you already have a Google ad account, listen to me close. If you already have a Google ad account, do not enter in the same payment information on that account and put it on this account. Google's very touchy when it comes to payment information. They're very touchy. There's a reason why you don't quite see them in court as often as you see other advertising platforms in court because they take this very serious. So do not use the same payment information on one account over to another account. Use a fresh card or a fresh bank account, something that has not been used on Google before or it does not have a previous balance on another account because what they will do is they'll flag your account and they'll shut you down and doing this whole thing will become very problematic. So make sure you enter in a card that has never been used. I can't stress this enough. Don't use duplicate payment information. Use a new payment information uh, for a card or for a bank account and just complete the steps here and do that. Once you hit that, you'll hit submit and your Google account is all set up, it's ready to rock and roll, and you can launch your very first YouTube ad.